this video we are going to talk about three top tips to iron out common mistakes when ski touring so stay tuned hello there everybody and welcome back to the free flow ski channel if you're new to the channel welcome a big warm welcome and if you've seen me before and you've seen some of the videos then welcome back everybody now today i've got a very special friend that i want to share with you and we're going to share three top tips to iron out mistakes when ski touring on the hill so here i am in this beautiful back country you can actually see one of our biggest mountains in the background mount pori we are in the northern alps of the tarantis valley and i'm here with my very special friend Dave to help you to make skiing easier and you safer in the mountains. So now we're going to come over and this is Dave. Are you kidding? Hi everybody, I'm really looking forward to sharing with you some of my top tips today with Floss on our fantastic little adventure here in Sampa. Okay, so a big common mistake is not getting your layering system right. So you want to pack a lots of layers for all sorts of conditions. We've just been in the shade, minus 10, super windy. But it's time to get that off, we're heading up into the sun. So you can have double layer gloves. Brilliant situation. Back down to a single glove. Stick that away. It's time to take off the windproof layer. A big thing I notice is people just don't have enough room in their pack for their layers. So work out your system so you can quickly get everything in and out of your pack without having it dangling off of the side on all sorts of intricate strap mechanisms. And it goes Zip it up. And we are away. You can see as well, Dave is in shift bindings. Now, if you want to know more about shift bindings, I've actually done a video about how to use shift bindings and how to overcome any difficulties you do have with shift bindings. So I'm going to link that in the description box below. So press on that video and have a watch. Okay, so another problem that people have is on a long skinning track like this, quite often you'll find that that lower ski is a lot lower than your upper ski. And as people move along, they start to get a lot of tension, muscle soreness, stiffness in that upper leg, stiffness, soreness in the hips. So a, a simple way of helping rectify the problem is just to lift up the heel riser on your lower ski and that helps equalize your legs out to make the journey a lot more comfortable. So this March, hopefully when things improve and the borders open and people are able to travel, myself and Dave are actually running a backcountry ski touring course here in this area in the Tarantias Valley and it's a really relaxed, fun course and we'll be coaching you through everything. So it's for people that haven't got any skills or experience in the backcountry ski touring and people that have, we will be building new skills and existing developing skills that you've got already. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna drop a link in the description box below. And if you've got any questions, just email me info at freeflowski.com and I'll be able to ask any questions. So we hope to see you in March. Okay, the final mistake that people often make is not having a system in place for taking off their skins. So I've taken the first skin off, I'm now going to tuck that under so it starts to get nice and dry for our second skin of the day. Alright, so I'm going to make sure that my brake is released in downhill mode before I take the second skin off. I'm going to hold the ski, release the tail, 
drag the ski away from me with the skin coming right up so the tip is at the hip. I'm going to take a pinch grip of the skin down in the middle, holding on to the end, rolling along the length of the ski, doubling over, and the ski skin comes off. Beautiful. Without it flapping in the wind. Now, quick transition, quick snack, and time for the fun bit, the ski down. I'm so excited to be skiing with Dave. Now myself and Dave, we've been friends for years and we've been running backcountry courses last year. I had two groups on my backcountry course. Woohoo! And uh, Dave was running the second group. Yee-hoo! Nice line, nice line. I just love a tree run. You can't go wrong. Beautiful. On our way home now. Just winding our way back down to PJ and uh, looking forward to that cup of tea at home. Pleasure, oh, as always. So good. So everyone, I really hope you got some great value out of today. And we're really looking forward to seeing you in March, if you can make it over for our backcountry ski course. The description is in the link below. And in the meantime, keep safe, stay well, and dream of being in the mountains. <laughs> Obviously, blossom. Lost it. Right, hang right, on. Okay, wait a minute. Right. You almost need it. Okay, cool. Right, so we're going to cut. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to the Free Flow channel. Ah! <laughs>